If you guys want to know how to make a teleport and you can only go through it if you own an island like this. With a data save and stay tuned at the end of the video to find out how. Hey everyone, Fantix here and today we're back in our bubblegum sim part 4 and today we're going to be making it a teleporter like them but uh you have to uh, discover the island to go in it so let's get right into it so go into your leader set script you want to do another local so uh or currency i guess local owns island we can call it is equal to instance.new bull value you want to do and then ls and then you want to do owns island dot name is equal to owned islands I'm gonna copy that because we're gonna need it. Owns island dot value is equal to false. We want to make it false. Uh, so when they discover it, we make it true. So let's make the discover part now. So this is the discover part. This is where your map's gonna be. Put this as big as your map. I'm gonna make it invisible so they can't see it. And collide equals to false. I'm gonna name it to discover part. Add a script in it. And you wanna do well, so we're trying we're gonna make it so if you touch it, so script that parent dot touched connect function hit. And then you wanna do local player is equal to hit that parent whoops. I cannot okay, hit that parent. God. Hit that parent. Find first child. And then you want to do humanoid. And then you want to do local PLR. As you can see, game dot players. Get player from character. Hit dot parent. And <clears throat> now you want to do PLR dot leader stats dot uh, owned islands dot value. Is you get the true. So we're making it true if you touch it. Now let's make our TP, our teleporter. So uh, I'm gonna make it like this, anchored, and collide equals to false. I'm gonna make it neon so it looks cooler. I'm gonna make it red. Name it to lava land TP. I don't know. Uh, um, add a script, and what you wanna type is script dot parent dot touch connect function hit. Also, we're gonna be making this save too. So. Yeah, hit dot parent. Um, find first child humanoid local PLR. So we're basically doing the same thing, but here we're making it. You can go inside the TP if you have it true. So game that players. Yeah, player from character. Uh, hit that parent. Okay, and then if PLR dot leader stat dot own value i mean owned islands dot value is equal to, equal to true then you want to do player dot torso dot c frame is equal to c frame dot new and in here is going to be your tp so how do you get this add a part uh put it a little up and put this wherever you want i wanted the tp like uh over to the shop so let's put it like right here uh, copy the position, paste it in here, and let's actually test this. So this is our discover part. So let's let's test this. Let's test if it works. And after we're gonna make the data store script. So let's go to our leader stats, owned islands. Let's go walk forward. Now it's true and it's one. Now let's go to here, and let's see if we could go in. There we go, and we're at the shop. Now let's test it if we don't have it. So, go to the TP. So since we don't have it, um, we shouldn't be able to go in. The leader stats, owned island, since it's false, we cannot go in, as you can see. So yeah, now let's, let's add some more cool stuff to it, and then we can do the data store script. So, 
add a screen GUI, name it to uh, discover GUI, text label, uh, size 1, comma 0, background, whoops, background transparency to 1, Fredoka 1 font, I'm gonna make it white, uh, discovered new island. Okay, so then you want to make this position one or this one one that'd be better um actually yeah yeah that, that would be actually kind of yeah yeah that's good okay add a local script inside the gui and you want to do game the workspace dot discover part dot touch connect function hit and then you want to do um script the parent the text label between position udim2 dot new and then you want to copy the position of it and we want it to come where we want it so in instead of this whoops let's delete that okay instead of this being one make it zero and then you want to wait five seconds and then it's gonna make we're gonna make it go away so put a one there and let's test it out so let's do right here. Let's go and test this out. And then we could do the data store script. And yeah, okay, so let's go here. Discover new island. And we have one and read. So that means we could go inside of here. There we go. That works perfectly. Also, you you can't spam it, uh, but we need to do something. So script destroy. So now they can't spam it. So let's do it. Discover new island. Wait five seconds and then you can't do it anymore. So there we go. I, I'm pretty sure I'm in it. Yep. And as you can see, it won't show again. So that's that. Now let's make it save. So, um, and we're also, this is also going to be a, our leader stats save. This is data store for leader stats, I guess. And now you want to write uh, local oops, local data store uh, service is it the game get service data store service. Let me move my mouse. Okay. Local data store is equal to data store service get data store and you want to name this whatever you want uh bg simulator for yt okay game the players dot player added connect function uh player in here go down local so what's our first currency bubbles so local bubbles data and then our other one comma and then uh coins data and then comma owns island data owns island data there we go local success uh comma error message a message like that uh is you get the p call function like that okay and then you want to do bubbles bubbles data is equal to data store like that and then uh get async player dot user id dot dot um teleport i don't know and then you want to do this multiple times bubbles data and except coins data coins do it again for the owns island and uh wait no this is for bubbles so bubbles uh and then teleport okay and then you want to do if success then player dot leader stat dot um owned islands i think we called it dot value is equal to um owned island data 
do this for everything or for uh, coins and then coins data and one more player dot dot leader stats dot bubbles I named it dot value is equal to bubbles data else warn error message and if you go down here we're almost done game dot players dot player removing connect function and player go down local success uh comma error message uh is equal to p call function down data store set async this time and then player dot user id dot dot um teleport uh, i'll do bubbles for and then um comma player dot leader stats dot bubbles dot value and you want to duplicate this teleport you want to name these the same uh on the islands and then the coins that's it coins coins and then you want to do we're almost done go down here and then you want to do uh sorry let me okay there now you want to do if success then uh print save else warn no warn error message and then you want to do game bind to close function and wait three and that's your data store script so let's test out the, the, the teleport data store uh, okay so let's test it out let's see if this still works so on the islands let's touch the port there we go discover new island since we have it we can go inside the portal there we go and then now let's rejoin also if you want this to work you have to have this on but yeah so let's go back and it should say one there we go so now let's let's get some bubbles and see if it works and this is how much i have let's go to the cell really quickly and let's see if our data store works. <clears throat> Alright, so when we touch it, get alright, so six, one forty four, one. So let's remember that. I mean it's gonna save anyways. Let's see if it works. There we go. It saves your data. So yeah. Yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like. It helps me a ton. And join my Discord server link in the description. We do some cool stuff over there and help you guys. So, yeah. Peace, everyone.